She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. Vega. And this is not about soulmates. More to explore. about to leave Penderford, uh, Billbrook I think it's called, just cruise a couple of miles down the canal, it's been a scorcher of today, we've just relaxed, did a few things here and there, now he's ready to push us off, and then we'll be on our way, take it away Ali. There we go, bridge number four, heading to Orderly Junction. Might get there, may get a bit further tonight, it depends, it's been a scorching day. Everybody's been moving down the canal, we've just seen a couple that got over the, up the Wolverhampton flight, which is what, 20 odd is it? That's a bit of a hot and thankless task on a day like today, well, they managed to make it. Here we are, just gonna move one lot maybe, maybe two if we really push ourselves. Go from there. Oh, look at those lily pads. Fantastic. The flowers, a few of them have got flowers budding. Don't know if they will have bloomed yet. Who can say? Lovely spot though. Here we are. Well, here's on one side. On the other side, we've got some sort of industrial units. And we've got a nice heron there. Just waiting, waiting. Just wait till he dips his head and you'll know he's going to be off. There he goes. Beautiful. And who's that up front with Ali? Yes, it's the co-captain, Mr. Zeger. I've had to take a bit of uh, measures to stop him popping out the back and then standing right at the back and move the bag of coal against the doors. Hey, who needs technology when you've got a bag of coal, eh? Well, I think I've just seen the first car I've ever bought back in 1900, yes. And uh, not the exact one, obviously, but the same model. Was it a Hillman Imp? Hillman Imp, do you remember those? No, most of you won't remember those unless you're 45, 60 or more. Yeah, it was, uh, actually mine was the posh version, the Singer Chamois. Yes, very nice little number. Oh look, and the Heron's doing his thing again. Up, up, up and away, just like ourselves. Onwards and upwards, beautiful just so majestic aren't they yeah so that was a bit of a surprise didn't know there was any of those on the road you used to have to put a pavement stone in the front to keep the front down because of course the engine was in the back and the springs on the front were all was pushing up but yeah there's at least one about from what I've just seen so we just had to wait for the that boot to come through and as I was just explaining to that chap Hovering and standing still seems to be the most difficult thing to do when you're on a canal boat. Every other form of transport, it's dead easy, isn't it? Definitely not a canal boat. I've probably said it before, and I'll probably say it again. But yeah, that went quite well. 
and luckily it was in a bit wider part of the canal which is always good there's a little bridge for everybody to get over to the towpath side and of course there's our good friend ahead of us just waiting to fly off again we'll see we'll see if we can get him in slow motion this time that would be good wouldn't it seeing how majestic those wings are remember you know he's going to go when he dips his head he's waiting for us now to get very close he must be intent on doing some fishing who can blame him he's probably after his tea Unusual not to move off, but very beautiful. Here's the spot. Let's get on with the cruising. This is a high tech marina or moorings. They even got CCTV camera there. So let's do a bit of CCTV in them. But yeah, lovely spot. Nice mooring. A little bit of a road up here, but. Not like the M54 that we passed yesterday and uh, was such a noise. Hello Ziga. There's Ziga looking out. Keep an eye on things. Ridge number three. Yeah. So I can see you, Ziga. We can see you in there. Yeah. Be good boy. Come on. Go on. Back to the bow. Go and help your mum. But he's decided to burst out and open the back doors and stand right at the back, which we don't really want him to fall in because the bet's still on about who's actually fallen in properly. Zeke has been the closest so far though. He's at rear end sort of nearly went in. But uh, I reckon Ali's still favourite. But I hope it doesn't happen, obviously. Yes, I can see your Zeke hiding in there. Yes. Zeke's being a bit of a princess. doesn't know whether he wants to be on the front, the back, the bow, the stern. All he knows is he'd like to get a few more steps in walking backward and forward. And it is quite warm out here to be fair. And him wearing a fur coat, albeit a short coated, uh, short length one. He's uh, pretty warm I would imagine. <coughs> There we go, bridge number two. Look at this, a little spot, a little shady spot at this time of the evening. Over here I can see some sort of industrial business and look at all those solar panels. Wow. I could run uh, everything I need to on the boat, couldn't it? Absolutely massive. And how many 
hundred there are. But yet to get any on the top of Narrowboat Soulmate, but hopefully coming to us soon. Yeah, so we just go in here and I think it's is this orderly junction? Been here before once and it was ultra busy but nice and quiet now so yeah here's the toll house at orderly lock now he's gonna undo the paddle which goes makes the water go down about six inches maybe at most yes not about soulmates looking good in its livery <laughs> yeah, this was used as a stop lock from the different canals because there was one was whatever it was called the Shropshire Union and uh, Canal and R Railway Society, and of course out there is the Trent and Mersey. It was owned by two different companies, so you didn't want anybody sneaking by without paying the appropriate toll. And there they are. Oh. We're trying to see if they can open it. Not sure. Have they got it? Oh, yes. Yes, they've got hold of that one. It's only a few inches different, just to stop anybody. Especially when they used to come through the night. I think we're ready to go out. Well, here we are, exiting Orderly Lock, Orderly Junction, and then we're going to turn to the left and head up towards Great Haywood. Thanks for your help. This is one of the easier ones, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just passed somebody who said they've been up the 21 locks of the Wolverhampton flight today. Oh, wow. That would have took a bit of effort, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Might have to use some new technology. Want to get past? Here we go. Gonna have to switch her down, I think. Hmm, here we go. Here we are. There's the sign, Chester that way. My home city, of course. My Cestrian born and bred. And uh, the other way, Great Hall Hayward, which is the way we're going. So let's get off and do it. Just slow it down a bit. Past these moored boats. We don't want to upset anybody enjoying their summer's evening, do we? And a beautiful one it is too. Hiya. Yeah, so here we go. Our first bridge. Heading towards Great Haywood. Bladen Road, number 66. Well, that was a little bit unusual. We were just about, of course, to go in the, to the stop lock when another boat came in who was closer to us, to be fair, or started to go in, but then they reversed, came out, and uh, one of their crew came round and said, 
we're not sure what happens here. We've never been before. So Ali quickly informed him what it was and uh, he helped us open the gates and obviously we got through. And they've just gone in. It's all great on the uh, canals because most people help each other, especially if they're not sure what's going on. And that happens to all of us sometimes, doesn't it? So we're on, now on the Trenton Mersey, tootling along, singing our song. The willow tree in front. And here comes Ziga. Hello, Ziga. Get up on the other one. Yeah, and jump over because you'll fall in. Yeah, what are you looking at? See what's going on. All right, stay there. That's a good boy. I can hear your tail tapping. Very in rhythm. Where are you going now? Go and have a drink. Oh, there, that's a very classic English phenomenon. The allotment, very popular. If you haven't got much of a garden, you can rent some off the council, of course. And uh, grow whatever you want. Vegetables, strawberries, raspberries. All manner of thing, except those things that you shouldn't be growing, of course. Wow, we've got some high trees here. Presumably been put in for windbreaks. Yeah, so we're tootling along. And in the words of my favourite singer, Harry Chapin, the plot is about to thicken. Yes, the canal is going to get a little bit narrower. And narrower. And narrower. With not many passing points. So we've got to take it a little bit cautiously. In case anybody's coming the other way. Because we don't want a head-on collision. That's no good in any form of transport, See? is it? Our favourite uh, vice-captain. Is that correct term? Probably not. He's in charge. Having a look what's going on. Up you get Zeke. There we go. Down to the Penderford Rockin', so I understand. So Ali tells me. <coughs> we'll see. Cheeky. Yes, number 67. Better duck here. I'm sitting up on the top. Oh, yeah, nearly had me. Nearly had a bit of my grey matter, and to be honest, it all counts at my age. You can't lose many of those cells, otherwise you'll be in big trouble. That's why I prefer to tap and touch. Instead of remembering that pin number. Yeah, it's getting a little bit narrow, I think. You can see why they call it a narrow canal. I'm not even going to try a three-point turn. Well, he did tell me there are a few passing points. But they're a little bit few and far between. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get you into a blackberry bush alley. Pick some for me if you see any. Very nice for me cereal in the morning. Well, the light is changing beautifully. Sun streaming through in places, of course. And... Oh, Ziga's playing that sound behind everything what is it Zeke what tune is that no I'm not going to buy it there is one of said passing points yes Zeke I agree thanks for pointing it out don't worry not far to go now and you can have your dinner The 
watch it when she start getting close it almost sucks you in you can't get away because of course yeah a little bit shallow alley but I think mainly it's when you get your front a bit near the right hand side once the bow's a bit near and then of course to get right you've got to put your tiller over to the right to get it to the left but of course then the stern goes more into the bank and you hug it like you don't want to I'm making it sound quite complicated but yeah it can get a little bit tricky especially along a strip as narrow as this I think you'd all agree that's narrow You don't get much narrower than this, I don't think. Yeah, any comments, just put them below. I'm going to try and answer them. I mean, what, the boat's 6 foot 10? Boy, we've got a few inches on either side. Let me have a look, see if I can point it out to you. Yeah, there's that side. Look out. There's this side. So, yeah. Here's another one of those famous passing points. Everybody'd have to breathe in, I think, if you're using that one. Sometimes you can see reflection or the wash coming around the corner which helps not very often yeah, this is Forster Bridge <laughs> Forster me way through I think don't want to clank against any of those sides Is it spooky? No, not really. It's dark though. It must be dark here all the time. Come here. Come here. Seegers decided to go and have a good look out the stern doors what are you doing hey yeah Zegas decide to bust out the back doors yeah standing there looking in anticipation well we had a bit of a branch across the way and obviously being so narrow no opportunity to go around it so we don't really want that tangled up in our propeller so Ali got out the old barge pole. She told me she wouldn't touch it with it. Oh no, that was a different thing. Um, and look, yeah, the barge pole is quite heavy, yeah. Otherwise it'll snap in half. Here we go. Yeah. Yes. Right, we'll get out of this in a minute. I don't think it was sunk us. But, you know, end of the day. Zinger! Please! Yeah, look, and it's now, of course, gets pushed back into the middle, unfortunately. But, yeah, you don't want anything like that on your propeller. Especially as it's quite shallow anyway, and you don't have much steerage through these uh, nano spots from what I'm told so obviously there isn't a massive amount of water to be able to push sideways because of how narrow it is but anyway I'll leave you with that thought as we proceed and Ziga continues to have a bit of a whinge he's had a look out the back hey you 
What's up? Yes, everybody's looking at you thinking, what a little whinger. Well, we yet again encounter the M54. Bridge number 68A. Well, this is a nice wide bridge, isn't it? So we can just see the other side. Yeah, I've just seen them back here. Amazing, aren't they? Look how tiny they are, those ducklings. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, there's ten of them. Yep, that's another soul fan. Soul boy, keep the faith. Yes, definitely like some soul. If you listen to the soul scene on Mixed Cloud, you'll hear some of my shows from Australia. I think it's about 90 yard up there. There's plenty of northern soul in there, plenty of deep soul, but all together some great soul. So uh, have a listen if you can. I'm sure you enjoy it. Let me know. Quite a few people out tonight, jogging, just sitting by the canal side and enjoying themselves. Who can blame them on a glorious day? I was going to say fill my lungs with the smell of those wild flowers, but I think we're next to a sewage processing station. We've got to go a bit more, definitely, a bit more, and then we can moor up, give you your dinner have some ourselves and maybe sneak out for a pint somewhere nice pint of real ale it'd be rude not to if they'd gone to all that trouble wouldn't it we'll see though how far we get oh look at this beautiful spot next to the canal yes beautiful horse here what do you call that? It's not piebald, is it? I'm not too good on me horses. But a beautiful horse nonetheless. Sitting. Sitting? Don't think they really sit, do they? Standing and gazing over the canals. And I think we're going to moor up in the next uh, mile. We might chance going through. What's the name of the place, Ali? What's the name of the place? Cross Who? Cross Green. Cross Green. Tight bend for bridge number 70, Cross Green. Yeah. Taking it super slow. Yeah. I was in a kayak on the way. Yeah. You just see them there? We're just going to slow right down to nothing. Let's go in out. Hiya. You haven't been doing that all day, have you? I going to say. Yeah, I'm going to be a bit scorchily. Hiya, how are you doing? All right. Shallow here, I can feel the rudder moving about a little bit. Well, here we are in Cross Green. Just gone through the bridge there. Beautiful spot. And what have we here? Just round the corner from our mooring spot. Yes, the Anchor in. So we're going to have to give that a try, see if they've got any nice real ales. 
a sample and maybe even a meal, depending on what they got on. So thanks for tuning in to the blog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, then click the subscribe button. And we look forward to you tuning in to our next vlog.